हेलो दिस इज डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल सांगली इंडिया एंड फेको ट्रेनिंग सेंटर इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट द रिफ्लक्स व्हिच इज सेवियर ऑफ पोस्टियर कैप्सूल इन आवर केसेस आई प्रोब और फेको प्रोब कैन कैच द पोस्टियर कैप्सूल इफ इट्स ओपनिंग इज डाउनवर्ड और साइडवेज क्लोजर टू द पोस्टियर कैप्सूल and many times the reason behind that is a redundant capsule which may be because of fluid behind the posterior capsule or in case of overstretched capsule like in case of hypermature cataract or zonular weakness also the capsule may come anteriorly and get caught by the uh, aspiration port of the ia probe or the feco probe and uh, once it gets caught we have to think how not to damage the posterior capsule so the most important thing here to understand is that once the probe catches the capsule it is important not to move it because it can tear the posterior capsule and then hit the reflux button so we should know where the reflux button of the foot switch is once the reflux button is pushed or you can also ask the assistant to pinch the vacuum tube that leads to fluid egress or fluid comes out of the aspiration port and which pushes the caught posterior capsule back so once it pushes the posterior capsule it's released and you avoid any damage to the posterior capsule so let's have a look at the case how to utilize this reflux button so next time you go to operate just find out this reflux button on your foot switch so this is the regular cortical aspiration which is going on using the coaxial ia probe and as i go in the sub incisional area you will find that there is some redundancy in the posterior capsule i thought that there is some remnant material there so i tried to polish it off and went into periphery you can see the opening of the ia probe is sideways closer to the redundant posterior capsule and it has caught hold of the posterior capsule so let's have a look at it again and once it happens you have to keep the ia probe very very steady so let's look at it in a slow motion replay and you can find that the posterior capsule has been caught in the ia probe if i try to move the ia probe vigorously at this point it might just tear off the posterior capsule here causing a posterior capsular rupture so uh, in this case i have to keep the probe very steady and then i have to hit the reflux button the moment i hit the reflux you will find that the posterior capsule is released from the ia probe uh, and it's not damaged so see how it happens when i press the reflux button the fluid comes out of the aspiration port releasing the posterior capsule look at it in another case this is also another common place to catch the posterior capsule when you are uh, removing the viscoelastic behind the iol the probe is sometimes sideways turned and uh, the uh, the posterior capsule may be redundant at the end of the surgery here so always remember whenever the probe tip is towards the posterior capsule or sideways you have to be very careful watch the posterior capsule and if it is caught always hit the reflux button right away without uh, moving the probe too much subscribe to my youtube channel also you can watch many more videos on the website fakotraining.org.in thank you so much